Hi there, I'm David Lay. I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm here tonight at Jackson Wink, uh, best MMA UFC school in the world. I'm a Gracie Baja black belt. I've been training jujitsu for 15 years. I've held my black belt for about four years. And as I said, not only am I a black belt, but I'm a clinical psychologist. Um, I work all day dealing with mental health and psychology and the brain. And then I get to come here and train with these guys. And the really interesting thing to me is I look around this room, all of the tough competitors, is I question, you know, what is it that keeps them coming in here? What is it that keeps them focused, keeps them able to come in here and compete day after day, night after night, sometimes training three, four, five times a day so that they can step into this ring right here and compete with everything they've got. So th there's a lot that goes into it. And, you know, one of the things, and this is going to sound a little funny, one of the things that goes into it is the, is the brain and the neurochemistry of the brain. All the chemicals that are in your body are the things that keep you fighting. We've got neurochemicals like testosterone. Testosterone is one of the chemicals that helps us to be aggressive and assertive and dominant. There was some interesting research recently that showed that when you take ibuprofen, it actually suppresses testosterone. So one of the things I'm telling competitors now is, you know, you walk out of here, you have a hard night, you're sore, you're hurting, you want to take ibuprofen. That's maybe not a good thing to do if you're training and getting ready for a fight because it's going to end up suppressing your testosterone, which might actually make you less aggressive and less effective as a fighter in the ring. One of the other things, though, that I think is really, really important is the learning that happens in here. Because every time you step in the ring, you learn how to fight, you learn how to compete, and you learn how to keep going. That is driven by a chemical called dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical that helps us learn and remember how important this is. It is not a chemical that helps it, that feels good. It's not, it's not like, um, like, like drugs or opiate or heroin. It doesn't feel good in your body, but what it does is it helps you learn. So when you step into the ring, when you compete with friends, when you try a new move, and maybe you mess it up, or maybe you make it work, it is a process that is helping your brain to learn, and it remembers how good it felt when you worked really, really hard. That, I think, is the thing that keeps people coming in here day after day, night after night, match after match. Because it feels really, really good when we try as hard as we can and we make something work. That shows not only are we learning and we're improving, we're getting better, we're becoming better men and women, we're becoming better competitors and better fighters, but we are improving ourselves as we measure ourselves, our skills, and our uh, our abilities against each other. Those are the things I think that make us keep coming and is why some people look at it and they, they think we're crazy for coming in here and fighting the way we are. Because we have learned that coming in here is one of the ways that we not only feel good, but we feel good about ourselves and we get to keep getting better every day so that tomorrow, I'm better than I was today, and the day after that, I hope I have the chance to be better than I was tomorrow. Here at Jackson Wink, we've got a lot of people that are committed to being better fighters, better men, better women, better competitors. Come on and join us.